guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am ill. You can probably tell in the sound of my voice. I'm very ill. I've been very ill for the past 10 days now. I still feel crap. I've put some slap on to make myself feel a little bit better. It's not making me feel better. But I've got to go out in like an hour. I put my makeup on early. So I was like why not film my September's Battle of the Boxes? Are we in September? It is September, I just checked. Uh, September's Battle of the Boxes. Um, I'm really sorry that I'm not feeling very well and I sound entirely disgusting, but um, what can you do? Going into Birch Box. Oh, look at this, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty. Let me get in. So this month's Birch Box is uber, uber cute. It's kind of very um, like Holland Heige, Heige, Heige style. You know, like the very Hollandaise sauce. <laughs> Getting inside, can you tell it's like very painful for me to talk right now? I've got to go to work tomorrow, it's a Sunday, I'm trying to like make myself feel better and get going because otherwise there's going to be no video for next week. Looking inside of this box, I see a little pot of something. This is the Grow Gorgeous Thickening Hair and Scalp Mask, it retails for £25 and obviously this is a sample size. Um, it says powered by a potent blend of biotin and caffeine, this luscious treatment nourishes your hair and scalp, adds shine and strengthens individual strands. Think thicker fuller and healthier locks so it's basically just a hair mask um i would try and smell this but my nose is like blocked and i really cannot be asked to open this up just to confirm that one nostril kind of works but nice i like a good thickening hair scalp mask i'm really trying to look after my hair recently so this is cool i like it the next thing in my box is this this is the love tint by benefit I actually don't have this one. I have the other two, the posy and the the posy and the lolly tint. I think it is, but I don't have the love tint, which is really cool because I actually forgot to choose this month which one I wanted. I always forget to choose, but yeah, the love tint is one I haven't got. So Benefit love tint retails for fifteen pounds fifty. So it's obviously a sample size, um, and you can just kind of use it to pop on your cheeks or pop on your lips. It's just basically it kind of says it on the tube it's a tint. Um, this one is a red. You kind of know if you know that I'm not into reds that much. I don't find them very wearable on my skin. Um, it comes with a little doe for applicator. I'd personally use this as a lip tint rather than a cheek tint. Just see how it blurs out. It does blur out quite nicely, but on my skin tone, I think this would look a little bit Coco the Clowny. So um, I'd preferably use this as a lip tint. However, actually, that has blended out quite nicely. I don't know. It's only small. It's only Diddy, but. It's a nice thing to add to the box, just wish it maybe would have been a little bit bigger. Um, just because this is literally like what, a tiny, tiny sample size. It's, I probably, oh yeah, two mil, two mil, so meh, it, it's kind of small. The next thing is this thing. This is the Marcel Micellar Water for Normal Skin. It retails for £18 um, and this is a sample size. I find these really handy for travelling so I actually hold hold on to these sorts of sizes for travelling because I just take my reusable cotton pads and then I can use this and it's not like hauling loads and loads of skincare. I do agree actually sometimes you're having a little bit of micellar water. If you've got minimal makeup it's, it's actually quite a nice thing to have if you don't wear a lot of makeup. I do really recommend my cellar water to remove your makeup because it's just so quick and easy. Um, it says oil free, alcohol free, fragrance free, hypoallergenic, non comedogenic and soap free. Honestly my nose just isn't working at all so it doesn't smell bad. I can't smell nothing bad about it. It just smells quite neutral which is quite nice. The next thing in my box is da 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 this. This is the Baja body cream in rose lychee and um, this is a sample size and it retails for £15.90 for the full size um, and it's effectively just a scented body cream so yeah it's effectively just a body cream um, with a rose scent very very nice packaging um, quite nice I have quite a lot of body creams so I'll probably just pass this on to a family or friend that would like another body cream because I have too many too many but it, it's a nice thing to have it's it's a good size it's only a sample size but it's a good size and the last thing in this box is something by Chella. this is the Chella eyebrow cream it re retails for 20 pounds um, and is a sample size product i believe i don't think this yeah this is a sample size it's not a full size product um in the shade tantalizing taupe so an eyebrow cream let's open this up and have a look at what this is because i'm very intrigued i've had an eyebrow product from Chella before it was like a brow highlighting pencil and I didn't like it that much it was a little bit chalky but I won't judge a book by its cover okay oh oh 
the hell? So taking the lid off exposes this little brush thingy-ma-doody here. Weird brush. And on the other end is... Oh, a pot. Interesting. Okay, so you put it in. Dip around. Uh... Uh, I, I think I like the product, I just don't like the brush, the brush is a bit crap if I'm honest, but maybe the product would be nice, I'm not sure, it's a nice colour, it's quite like my hair colour, so interesting, I'm not too sure what you would do if that's not your hair colour, but interesting concept. The cars outside are so noisy today, but I cannot close the window because I, because I feel so stuffy, I can't feel hot otherwise I just start feeling a little bit panicky so sorry that the windows are gonna have to be open but it's a Sunday I don't know what these people are doing outside but whatever and then on to the next box is the box and the first thing I see inside of the box is their advent calendar uh, like what's it called advert um, I've actually made my purchase for my one uh, what more can I say I can't even think of words to say right now I feel so crap but um, yeah the advent calendar is back last year it was phenomenal I do recommend it if you're going to buy a beauty calendar buy the glossy box one it was phenom last year I loved it so I've already placed my purchase order for my advent calendar and I cannot wait to receive it getting into our box we have a very beautiful like card this month it's very sort of magazine style just like it was last month I really like when they do that Ooh, it's quite an interesting box this month so the first thing I see is this this is the May banana setting powder um, it retails for 15 pounds and this is a full size um, it says that this is good for baking and creates a smooth finish apply it with a beauty sponge or apply it to a powder brush for a finer finish I actually really, really like exploring powders um, and I do like banana powders this one doesn't look too yellowy which is what I like about this one um, sometimes you get a banana powder and I'm not joking it's literally like Simpsons yellow and you're like how the hell does anyone of any skin tone pull that off okay this banana powder actually looks quite nice um it's very finely milled from just feeling it and it's not too too yellow like i said it's actually quite nice you can't see anything obviously because it's translucent but i'm actually quite excited to try that out under the eyes it might be really nice with this powder because like i said it's got that yellow tint um it's translucent and it's quite a nice little size 15 pounds for 4.5 grams so that's a pretty good price pretty good price and the next thing we have in our box is this thing right here this is the colgate max white charcoal whitening toothpaste this is full size and retails for four pounds basically it just says that this is activated charcoal and mineral micro particles infused it gently removes 100 percent surface stains and you'll use twice a day for two minutes i mean oh god look at me traveling anywhere it's effectively toothpaste um i actually use oral b most of the time so it's nice just to venture out to different toothpastes once in a while without actually pay for them um, I actually like it when glossy box or any uh, beauty box for that matter provide something different than just makeup hair care skincare so actually having something for your mouth a bit of toothpaste is quite nice it's a bit different I appreciate it the next thing in here is this this is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. This is a full size and retails for £2.49 and it's effectively just like a hair mask. I've used these before. Um, instead of a conditioner, you just pop this on and just kind of like leave it to soak in your hair for a couple of minutes. I probably leave it for about two, between two and five minutes. Usually I do like wash my hair, put this on and then I leave it on while I shave my body or like shave my legs, my arms, things, not my actual arms, my armpits, but like I shave my body whilst this is leaving and soaking in because I find that then I know that I've left it for a decent amount of time. Um, so yeah, this is actually really nice. I've tried this before. I actually really, really like this one. It's very, very hydrating. Sometimes people don't like coconut oil. I like coconut oil in my hair, just not my skincare. Um, but yes, it's really, really nice. It's for dry, damaged or colour treated hair. So yeah, usually I just use like, Depend this feels quite full actually to be fair so I wouldn't use this all in one go I'd probably just use maybe a quarter of a pack at a time so this will last me like a good three to four times I like this the next thing in here is this this is the carex hand gel it's a full size and retails for £1.55 and um, you could have received strawberry laces which is the one I've got or you could have received love hearts um, and it's just basically I mean it's just a hand gel um, but I actually really like it it's a quick dry one as well apparently uh, hang on, oh, there we go, let's apply some of my fingertips, 
I actually love hand gel. I'm a bit of a hand gel obsessive freak. I have hand gel in every bag, every drawer, every side unit. Oh, oh, that's really interesting. Oh, it does smell like strawberry laces. It's quite strong. The next thing in here is this. This is the delicious, delicious, delicious body. I have no idea. Delicious body, um, original black tea body scrub. This is a full size. It retails for seven pounds ninety five, um, and it says black Assam tea just isn't your morning cuppa. The refreshing tea leaf also makes a fabulous hundred percent natural body exfoliator, filled with antioxidants and essential oils. This caffeine based scrub buffs away dry, dead skin cells and quenches thirsty, thirsty skin. Usually, I've actually used coffee scrubs, so what is my hair doing um so a tea scrub is very very different you just use it in the same way you would a coffee scrub um just wet your skin take a handful of the scrub massage it leave it for a couple of minutes and then drain it off like i said if i ever use like a scrub um like if i if i ever use a scrub in a shower i usually kind of do my hair while like i scrub my skin oh my god i cannot speak today i scrub my skin leave it to soak whilst i wash my hair and it's one of those things where i know that i've left on for at least a minute you know what i mean so yeah i actually like to incorporate scrubs especially on my legs my arms and like my booty area that's probably like the main places i like to scrub my body um this is quite nice i like it it's good size got caffeine antioxidants and vitamin e in i like it i like it a lot the next thing in here is this little thing what is this this is the mitchell and peach flora number no. one fine edition eau de perfume this is a dulux mini the dulux mini is worth 29 pounds 75 for 17 and a half mil and the full size 50 mil is 85 pounds so a bloody expensive perfume and um, i actually love perfumes and i love receiving perfumes in beauty boxes wow people are going on my road really loudly um i yeah i've said it before and i'll say it again i love receiving perfumes in my beauty boxes because i love fragrance and i love trying out different fragrances um and it's expensive my nose is so blocked i'm so sorry but i'm gonna try and give this a little sniffy sniff let's see what it smells like oh Oh, it says, who would have thought sweet fennel could smell so good? By blending this herb with laxpur and delicate notes of rose, ylang, ylang, peony and lavender, Mitchell and Peach have created a gorgeous floral eau de perfume. Better yet, this fragrance is hand blended and filled with pure essential oils that have grown on their estate. This smells lovely. It's very potent. Like I said, only one of my nostrils is kind of working. So it smells really, really good, but quite potent. So... I think it's one of those jobbies where you just sort of dab it a little bit, rub it into your wrists, maybe a little bit, like you spot it and that's enough. So actually, although it's quite small, I think it would last quite a long time because it's quite potent in that sense and it hasn't got a spray. So yeah, it's very, very fresh, very, very herbal in the sense of not like cooking herbs but quite um natural smelling i quite like that very nice and the last thing in here i don't believe is on the card at all um which i think is just like an extra little mini but it's just a little chocolate bar this is a godiva belgium 1926 godiva masterpieces ganache heart with belgium dark chocolate it just looks like this i have no idea how much it retails for because it wasn't on the card but it's always nice to receive a little extra in our glossy box. And last but not least is a rocker box. It's got a little bit of string coming out of it. Once again, our picture is really, really pretty. Oh, cute. And we've got a to-do list. So I think I've seen this on rocker boxes Instagram where they've been uh, posting these to-do lists in their like boxes and it's their monthly, oh my God, am I gonna say to-do list again? It is their monthly to-do list. Um, so it says plan a breakfast date with friends, have a home spa night in, clean and clear up unused, out of date makeup and cosmetics, have a chick flick movie night with your favorite snack attend three different gym classes um, or find a new favorite post a card to a friend just to say hey and tell them how great they are or do something lovely for a stranger and it also says here at the bottom you can donate unwanted products to women's aid like they have a whole thing about makeup products um so yeah it's the rocket box challenge to do list i quite like that I quite like a little bit of mental health would you like to call that sort of mental care self-care I think it's like that. First thing in our box, it's looking kind of neat in here. First thing in here is this. Also, our quote in here is, life is tough, but so are you, honey. So true. This is the Murad Environmental Shield Essential Sea Cleanser. It retails for 30 pounds. Um, and the full size is 200 mil. This is a 45 mil sample. So it's quite a good size sample, but obviously the full size is like 
four to five times the size and is £30. Um, it's an antioxidant rich daily cleanser which neutralises free radicals and other environmental pollutants by removing impurities. Um, I've actually heard a lot about Murad skincare and I'm actually really excited to try this out. I've never tried anything before. It kind of looks like it has like tiny little microbeads in it but I don't think it's plastic so that's quite good um yeah i'm actually really really excited to try this out i've never tried anything from murad and i'm gonna say it again I, i'm excited to try it out <laughs> the next thing in here is oh what is this this is the manu skim warming aromatic uh mask it retails for 31 pounds 95 and this is a full size the aromatic mask is a perfect deep cleansing treat for your skin the velvety soft formula warms up on amp application penetrating deep into skin leaving your complexion feeling renewed clear amazing and radiant um, use once or twice a week after toning the skin it's a natural clay mask for lavender with lavender and rosemary inside and it's for combination skin so i'm pretty sure like dry or oily could use it if it says combination uh, yeah using the best of nature plants herbs and minerals and essential oils against animal testing made in the uk cool i actually really like receiving mask this is a hefty mask i think we've received other things from mono skincare a couple of times um my goodness my nose i'm so sorry that this sounds vile i'm so sorry but if this is not filmed today it will never be filmed okay i'm sorry um yeah i'm really excited to try this out i do like to use masks that aren't too drying so the fact that this is combination skin makes me feel a little bit better but warming sounds a little bit scary but I'm willing to give it a go. And the next thing in here is this. We've got another banana setting powder. I'm going to have more banana setting powders than boots. So this is the Style London Banana Setting Powder. It retails for £14.99 um, and this is a full size. It's a super fine, lightly tinted banana powder with a vitamin E. The perfect setting powder is designed to brighten the skin and eliminate shine whilst locking your look in place to stay all day. Cruelty and paraben free. Um, let's have a look at this one, shall we? Just like the other one, this banana powder isn't too yellow, so that's actually quite nice. It's quite wearable for someone of my skin tone. Um, it just looks like this, so you know, it's not too yellowy and again it does feel really 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 super fine really super fine this one's got a little bit more uh, like opacity can you see that there opacity is that the right word like more coverage color i don't know i feel like this one would have flashback though because it's kind of like slightly white whereas the other one was a little bit more translucent but exciting i love trying out different powders especially as a dry skinned girl i love trying out different powders that don't dry my face out I like it and the next thing in here is this whatever this is tell me more this is the off black tea sample this is a bonus product in this month's box uh, but this is £1.99 for one sample of three tea bags of different colours or oh, different flavours even um, and yeah it's just tea bags apparently so let's get in this and have a look shall we so try it a new generation of tea for a new generation of you oh cool so actually all of these teas i actually really love so we've got a green tea up here a black tea and a herbal tea i love the packaging of these i like, look how cool that is it's very very weird and i quite like it yeah the next thing in here is this this is the this works deep sleep pillow spray it retails for 19 pounds 50 for the full size of 75 mil this is the five mil uh travel size for one pound 30 um and yeah basically you just spray it on your pillow for a deep sleep it has like uh lavender and other like chamomile things like that in it it smells very nice i've actually got the full size of this um do i have the full size or two travel sizes can't remember but i've had this quite a lot before and it is really lovely and soothing you just put like one spray on each pillow and then it's not too overpowering it's just enough to really like oh it just smells really nice so when my nose works and i'm suffering from sleeping like not sleeping very well this is actually really nice and the last thing in here is a brush i swear to god every month i get a fan brush and i'm starting to get a little bit bored of receiving fan brushes in beauty boxes because this is the third one in the third month running i believe but this one is pink so i can't complain too much this is the moon skin fan brush it retails for six pounds and is a rocker box exclusive um this fan brush is one of the most versatile to tools in your kit especially when it comes to blending a natural looking highlight um blah 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 blah, blah. i actually use this sort of fan brush it's, it's quite thin like can you see that it is quite thin tape in really lovely it's very 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 soft i do use them for my contouring 
my highlighting it's very very nice I actually use a fan brush today for my highlight and I find that it drags across the cheek and onto the temples quite nicely without being like a strip just because it blends really really nicely I like it and it's also pink and soft very nice okay so I think rating the boxes this month is actually really quite easy for me um, and in first place I'm going to put glossy box just because everything inside that box was really really good and it was a different like we had a lot of variety in that box there was some body care things some makeup some sort of like oral care and um, some other things uh, some hair care a bit of chocolate I just really really like that box like everything inside it was just really really nice in second place I'm going to put our rocker box I actually loved this box just as equally as I did the glossy box however something about it just made me not as excited as I was about the glossy box maybe that's because I opened the glossy box one first who knows I think this was a really really good box um, again I like the fan brush but I am kind of getting a bit fed sick of fan brushes loved the facial wash really excited for that the perfume was nice all of the bits were really really nice um, and then of course in last place I'm going to put my little merch box I just I just wasn't really bothered by anything in here if I'm going to be honest I think the eyebrow thing was a bit like uh, so so can't see myself using it if I'm going to be honest and um, the love tint was quite nice but again it's quite small hair mask we get hair masks quite a lot so I t I'm not like woohoo hair mask um body creams all right my cellar it's just like I just wasn't that bothered about it you know so that's why it's in last place. So here are the results that puts Glossy Box in first place with 6.5 points, Rocker Box in second place with 6 points, and again in last place, Birch Box with 3.5 points. It's just getting really, really left in the dirt, this one. So um, yeah, I think we're going to know who is going to be cancelled next year. It's really sad, but those two boxes, Glossy Box and Rocker Box, are just so consistently good for me, and sometimes when they're not so good, they still have other products that make them better. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know, I really, really like those two boxes. Um, and if you don't agree with me with the markings, then just tell me down below. What did you think? Have you got any of these boxes? What did you get inside? Are they different from mine? Please do tell me. I'm obsessed. I like to know what people got. I'm nosy. I'm that person. I've got an itchy ear right now. I'm not very well still. Um, I'm rambling. And that was it. <laughs> that was it. Thank you for joining in with me with Battle of the Boxes, even though I do sound ghastly. If this is your first video here, thank you for sticking to the end, to be honest, because I'd have clicked out, uh, to be honest, probably two minutes in, sounding like this. But thank you for staying, nevertheless. If you still do enjoy Battle of the Boxes, remember to give me a good old thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions for next year, um, for like the new box to come in, then do pop that down below, because obviously I do hunt at this sort of time from June till December for a new box to bring into Battle of the Boxes so if you've got any suggestions please do put them down below because I do struggle sometimes with finding different boxes <gasps> breathe and that is it thank you very much for watching guys thumbs up if you did enjoy subscribe ring my bell if you have not already because it notifies you of all the videos I upload I upload every single week not consistently because I'm rubbish so notify yourself with the bell and it'll tell you when I upload Thank you guys for watching, really, really, really do appreciate it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Um, and I've got lash glue all over my thumb. Ah, oh, my life. <coughs> uh -huh. With a little bit of... Foof. Stick it in a foof? No, that's something entirely different. Sort of drying? Ah! <coughs> <coughs> this is literally how you don't blow your nose. You just stick a finger up your nose with a bit of tissue. And that's how you don't blow your nose and ruin your makeup as fast. Tip. Makeup girl tips. <sighs> <clears throat> I'm tired. Really tired. Okay? Really tired. That'll do, pig. That'll do.